Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about rock fishing. The rock fishing season opens really soon here in March and it's only days away. And some of you have been sending me emails asking what kind of jigs you should use and when to use them. So I thought we'd cover a little bit about that right now. Now, if you're going to be fishing in deep water and for local Southern California, I would say over 200 feet, you need to use a nice big heavy jig. So you want to use something like this, a magic metal and an eight to 10 ounce, depending on the current, it'll tell you if you need eight or 10 ounces, the jig's got to go all the way down to the bottom and you're fishing some of those volcanic reef areas and the ledges looking for lean cod, you want to drop this all the way down the bottom, let it hit the bottom, yo-yo the rod a little bit, let that thing flutter. And then once it goes back down, crank it as fast as you can, five or six cranks, crank it off the bottom, stop it and let it flutter back down. As it flutters back down, and sometimes when it's chasing away, those big lean cod that live in that kind of rock, that heavy rock, volcanic rock, will chase it and go eat it, thinking it's a bait fish trying to escape. Now you can do the same technique if you get in shallow water. You start fishing those spots outside the horseshoe or up by volcanic reef where it might be only 100 feet deep or 125 feet deep. You can get away with a much lighter jig, four and a half ounce jig, and the same technique. Let it go all the way to the bottom, flutter it all the way down the bottom and then grind it back really fast. Only about five or six cranks. You want to keep that bait close to the bottom, make those lean cods come up and chase it. Another good jig that works on the bottom to bounce around for the reds and the lean cod is a big bucktail. B52 bucktail, six ounce is perfect. Just bounce it from rock to rock. Don't have to move it a lot. Just slowly bounce it. Put a whole squid on there or you can put like a single tail grub on there too. Make it look bigger. Reds really love this, and I like to use the fluorescent colors, the glow in the darks, and the whites when I'm fishing that deep. Catch a lot of nice red rockfish on this, and also lynx too. Now, if you're gonna fish two hooks in a ganyan, remember in California, maximum number of hooks you can use is two. It's not like the old days where we used to use 10 and 15 hooks. Now it's only two hooks. You wanna put on two bucktails, probably something like this, like a one ounce or one ounce or a half ounce, depending on how deep you're going, on a bucktail. Put two of them together in dropper loop rigs with the big sinker on the bottom. They go all the way to the bottom and just check it. Make sure it's on the bottom from time to time as you're drifting, because as the boat moves, your bait's going to come up. So you want to put it in free spool, make sure you have contact with the bottom, and just slowly flutter it up and down. What I really like about the bucktails is if the fish do pull your squid off or pull your bait off, the fluttering action from the bucktail is still going to attract fish and you're going to still be able to catch them. You can find all these jigs at your local Turner's Outdoorsman store. Some of the other websites have them too. And you can also find them on our website too at sport-fishing.com. That's sport-fishing.com. So just a little basic tip. If you need more tips about how to catch rockfish, you know, look around here on my YouTube channel. Got lots of videos, over a thousand videos here. Lots of past rock cod trips that we filmed on TV and lots of tips too. Thanks for watching today's video blog. Don't forget every Thursday I'll be posting new videos for you. And if you have some ideas, go ahead and list them down below in the comments and we'll make some video clips for you. Don't forget to subscribe right here to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of them. And remember, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram too. Well, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.